Well, hey, everyone, we made it to the end of our journey in our book of Psalms devotionals. I'm grateful um, that you guys have been with us for these 20 some odd days of engaging in the book of Psalms. I pray that something has engaged with you, touched you, talked with you and enlivened something inside of you to be all that God has called you to be. Today, let's take a look at Psalm number eight. It's titled this out of everything God made. Here's favorite. Psalm eight says this. Oh, Lord, how majestic are you in all of the earth? You set the glory in the heavens through the praise of children and infants. You've established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider the heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you set in space, what is mankind that you are mindful of him? Human beings that you care for them. You've made them just a little lower than the angels. You've crowned them with glory and honor. You've made them rulers of the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all the flocks and herds and the animals of the wild, the birds of the sky, the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Out of everything God made, you're his favorite. The psalmist calls God majestic and such high praise is reserved for the best. God is impressive. God is beautiful, dignified, and glorious. God is an all-impressive creator, and we're his favorite creation. The same God who created a never-ending kaleidoscope of sunsets and oceans and jungles and stars set apart humans as his favorite. Psalm 8 and 5 says it like this, He has crowned us with glory and honor, and we did absolutely nothing to deserve it. God has made us in his image. He's mindful of us. He knows every hair on our head, and he cares for us by providing our most basic needs. But not only does God care for us practically, but he cares for us spiritually and emotionally. God wants to spend time with us daily and enjoy a close, intimate relationship with us. He sent Jesus so that we might be with him, just as the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. Jesus became fully human and sacrificed himself so we could have a relationship with God. And through Jesus' sacrifice, our sin debt is paid. Being mindful of us may sound like an understatement in light of God's great plan. But he placed us as the centerpiece of his thoughts and divine will. That, my friends, is extraordinary love. Let's reflect. Who or what do you love the most? How far would you go for them to show how much you love them? Does knowing what God thinks about you change your perspective of God? What is man? What am I that God is mindful of me? Loved. Let's pray together. Thank you that you're mindful. Amen. Go forth, prosper, be well. It's been an honor to be on this journey with you for these past 24 days. Rise up, own what God thinks about you, because out of everything God made, you're pretty cool. Matter of fact, you're more than pretty cool. You're amazing. Have a great day.